A great factorial challenge today, 10 factorial over 6 factorial equals to x factorial. And a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, mister, we have 10 factorial, and we divide all of these by 6 factorial. So let's cancel numerator and denominator by 2, right, like that, like that. So as a result, we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial. And they simplify this a little bit, and they have their answer. But in terms of factorial, it's not works like that, so forget about this forget about this really bad solution. How can we solve this question correctly? First of all, let's rewrite this 10 factorial as a product. So everyone know about it. This is a product from 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 and times 10. This is our numerator. So we rewrite our product, uh, we rewrite our 10 factorial, and we divide all of these by 6 factorial. 6 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 6. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and times 6. And if you look closely, we have absolutely the same product in our denominator and in our numerator. So from 1 to 6 we have right here, so we can easily cancel this long product with this product from 1 to 6. So as a result we still have this expression 7 times 8, 9 and 10 and let's rewrite it. So what do we have right here? We have 7 times 8 times 9 and times 10 which is equal to right here we have x x factorial. And right now we can't find our x easily because we have a long product. How can we find factorial from here? And I'd suggest you to rewrite these values a little bit. So this 7 we can write right here as 7. 8 can be written as, let's write this 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, okay? So this 8 can be written as 2 times 2 and times 2. Right here we have 7, okay? Let's rewrite our 7. Okay, let's write this 9. How can we write it? As 3 times 3. So we have 3 times 3 and this 10 let's write as 2 times 5 okay so or let's write it as 1 times 2 and times 5 which is equal to x x factorial okay and right now let's create an order so from 1 until the number that we have right here so first of all we have 1 so let's write this one right here and let's cancel this one from here because we don't need it we can't use this again okay right now we need two where do we have this two we have two for example let's take it from here okay so right here we have times two what about three yeah we have three right here so let's cancel from here our three let's write times three what about four four is two times two okay we don't have uh, exactly value of four we have two times two so let's cancel this two and two and let's write right here our times Four. What about 5? Where do we have this 5 right here? We have 5 right here. So cancel from here and we have times 5. Okay, where do we have 6 maybe? Yeah, we have 2 times 3. So 2 and 3, we have 6. So times 6. And times 7. Where do we have 7? Yeah, we have 7. Okay, so times 7. Maybe 8 right here. No, we don't have any of those because right here we, we reject all of these constants. So we have only from 1 to 7, which is equal to x factorial. The second most common mistake, a lot of students uh, write this question um, correctly. They write that this is equal to 7 factorial because this is a product from 1 to 7. So we have 7 factorial, which is equal to x factorial. And a lot of students uh, do this common mistake. They say, okay, x equal to, and they find the exact value of this 7 factorial. They say that this is equal to, it uh, looks like 5,000. 40 something like that they write that x equal to this 7 factorial but right here we have 7 factorial equal to x factorial so it means this values should be the same okay so x should be equal to right here x is equal to 7 so forget about this 5040 which is really bad mistake in terms of math sometimes students make this mistake but it's really bad mistake in terms of math so our correct answer is 7 so our answer our answer x equal to 7. And I want to say this is one and only case in terms of factorial where can we divide two factorials and the result is factorial. So this is one and only case. This is one case when this question works. For example, we have 10 factorial over 6 factorial equal to 7 factorial. There is no other cases in terms of factorial. It works only in this constant only in these values 10 6 and 7 this is one and only case so this is like information for you so i hope you you understand my explanation so thank you for your time see you in the next videos also write your thoughts down in the comment section what do you think about this solution what do you think about this explanation and thank you for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day